What's going on guys? So I just replaced the valve springs and retainers on the J-Series Turbo for some super thick springs and titanium retainers. I use the TRC retainers and I did it without removing the heads. So I had to use a couple of tools, uh, leak down test, uh, plier for the seals because you have to remove them in a, uh, to be able to change the base of the spring. And I use this spring compressor. Got it all on Amazon. I will post the link in the description in case someone wanna grab some, but we're good, got the job done. So let me show you how I did it. So first thing you need to do is find the top of the piston, put the piston all the way in the top, right? In case uh, you drop the valve, it doesn't go all the way in then you will have to pull the head out so we put in piston number six all the way up and show you cam gear tells you which piston is up so my piston is all the way up I have about 20 psi going in there, so I'm gonna grab the hose that comes with the leak down test kit, put it in. Okay, so I will plug my air, I got about 20 psi going in it. I did notch this a little bit just to get a clearance between the head and the spring because it's kind of tight make it a little thinner and I notch the corners I put a small magnet inside there to catch the retainers Be a little tricky to get it in sometimes. It's in. It's in. Move it around a little bit. Comes out with the retainers inside. You can see it right there. Now I release it. Pull the spring out, pull my retainers out, I keep them with the magnet so I don't get lost. You can plug this now, it doesn't matter if the valve goes down because the piston is all the way up, so it doesn't go past that. So I'm going to pull my oil. Uh, valve seal down. These things can be a pain in the ass sometimes. I'm starting to go. Ah, there it is. Valve seal is out. I check, clean, and make sure there's no rubber left from the old valve seal there. Clean it a little bit. The seat out, just grab it. You don't need to make force, it comes out really easy. You just gotta come out straight or it won't come out. Grab a seat. Put a little bit of assembly lube on it. Slide it in there. Grab a new 
Valve seal. It slides in. You just wiggle it a little bit. Don't don't make a lot of force on it. You don't want to mess it up. Put it in place. This is a 3A long socket or deep socket. You can hear when the pitch changes. That's when it's all the way in. Now I'm gonna grab some some sticky grease. And you don't need much. I'm gonna plug this in. Pull the valve up. Get some of that grease where the keepers go. I'll make life a lot easier because they stick to it. Grab my retainer. One spring. Put some assembly lube on it. That also helps the retainer stay in there. And then compress it. We're gonna put it inside. You see the notch side? You want the notch side to where this rib is because it's kind of tight in there, so it gives you a little bit of movement. If you put the big side in there, it doesn't let you move it around. I found these things. I think these are for like eyebrows and stuff like that. I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, I just made it a little pointy. That's what I'm using to put the keepers in there. I keep the magnet on the other one. Stick it to the car so I don't lose it. And you just grab the very top of the of the keeper and put it in there. Do not drop it because you don't want this going in one of those oil returns because you won't see it again till you pull the oil pan that one is in grab my other keeper same thing you gotta play with it a little bit You see that grease helps it stick to the bulb, so it's a lot easier to install. And it's in there. And that's another thing I like about this uh, bulb spring compressor. I can pull it up and make sure that it's sitting in place before I release the pressure. So it's in there, let it go, and it's done. Okay, this is the rear, just to show you that it can be a little tricky, but it can be done. It's a little tight. Just to this side. So, if you've never done this before, uh, I will recommend you to either go to the Junker, get this series head or something like that, and mess with that first outside the car, so you know what you're getting into. Because one mistake here can be painful.
put in the new one, it's a lot easier. Sure, those keepers stick to the magnet before you pull it out, and it's out. Right, just gonna. Whew. So, keepers on this side. I mean, the valve seals on this side are a lot harder. So I have to I had to use these pliers to start getting it loose, and then I just pull it out with the other one. Starts coming out. Grab this one. And it comes up. Clean it, make sure there's no rubber. Pull the base. Base out. Little bit of assembly loop. Put the new base in. So yeah, if you've never done it before outside, I will do it because if you don't leave the keeper right in there, you do something wrong in the engine that you're using, you're gonna break it. A uh, valve drops in there and the motor is done. It just helps the keepers stick in place so they don't fall. Get your air back up. You don't have to take it out, just take it out because compressor annoys me. This way. Ooh, little pliers. Do not drop this keeper. If it falls in here, that's fine. It won't go anywhere the way this thing is. But if you drop it in the oil return or something like that, it's gone. That's in. Next one.
sometimes you will have to push a little bit on it. And that's it. It's in. So like I said, I pull it up, make sure it goes in place and then I release the spring and it stays in. There's no chance of popping the keeper and flying away. Alright, a few more to go and I'm done. <laughs> then, technically you have to break in your springs. Uh, what uh, people recommend is you put a heat cycle on them, start it, get it to temperature, let it cool down completely, uh, check your valve clearance and send it. <laughs>